In this Wix website builder tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a project to your portfolio. So if you have a photography site or a design site and you've chosen like a portfolio theme, uh, you'll have a portfolio section. And inside of the portfolio section will be collections, which are like categories of your projects if you want, just another organization, organizational structure. So you might have like food photography and then animal photography. And inside of there is all your animal photography projects or maybe all your food photography projects, right? This example has uh, just two collections, but if I click on this one on the left, you'll see that this collection has a bunch of projects. And so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a new project. So if I click on this project, for instance, it'll have a title, it'll have some details, it'll also have a, a few other, like a description, and then of course the pictures. So in this case, like showing that, you know, the skincare photography type thing. And so to add a new project, it's easiest to do on the back end. So if you go to the dashboard of your site, so not necessarily the editor, but we're gonna go backwards to the dashboard from the site dropdown, and we load up the dashboard, and if we have a portfolio attached to our site or installed, you'll see a portfolio tab over here on the left. So if we click on that, we'll be on like the portfolio homepage, which is basically the projects. And you can see here, we just have all these different projects and we can actually add a project. So if we click add project here or up here in the upper right, we can add a new project and we can give it a title and go through all of that info we just looked at on the front end of our site. And so this, I'm just gonna put in uh, food photos. So this is a project that's just food photos. And then I'm gonna hit next and the description here is like, uh, so obviously you wanna be a little bit more descriptive than that. And then you can go through things like project type, like is this, um, we just call this food photography, right? And then uh, the date. So when did I do this? Well, I did this in April of 2024. And I, you know, created this in Chicago, for instance, if I can spell it right. There we go. We can hit next. And you don't have to fill in all of those details, just what is applicable to your project. So we're going to add media to our project and I can upload that from our computer or import it from Wix Media Manager. I'm gonna actually import it from the Wix Media Manager, which should pop open, yes, this Media Manager window where you can still upload this big blue button. You can still upload stuff from your computer or if you have, let me just show you, if I click that, you actually have like Google Drive connectivity, Dropbox, Flickr, um, so Dribble. Like if you have a bunch of stuff in another spot like Dribble. Uh, you can just like import it from there. So that would be pretty easy to do. Uh, we can also look at our site files that we've already uploaded to our site. I don't have much in here, but we can also explore and you would be looking up your own portfolio imagery. I don't necessarily have any food photography imagery, but I could look at media from Wix real quick and just look for something like food. And so I could add in photos of uh, different food and stuff to my project. So I could select that one. Let's see if we can select multiple. We can, so if I hold Command on a Mac or Control on Windows, I could go through and select multiple if I'm looking at my site files or anything like that. So I'm just gonna select multiple here of uh, food photography and add that to my project. So it's adding in these multiple images to my project. Here's where I can manage the project media. So once I've sort of added the imagery, it's gonna put it in here and you see I have like five different images I can sort them around. The one that's first will be the cover image. So maybe I want this guy to be my cover image. Maybe it's too weird aspect ratio wise to be my cover image. So maybe I need to maybe uh, make this different, right? Uh, or just shift some stuff around. So maybe I need to move cover out of there to actually shift something into the cover image. I don't know. Sometimes things are a little weird, right? But you can also on the right here, add titles to the imagery, descriptions to the image, even a link if you were to click on it, etc. And you can add more media up here at the upper right. But let's say these five images are the images I want in my project. I'm gonna hit done. And then basically I can hit done again on this to add those to the project. And so we can go manage that project. And if we go manage the project, we can edit all of that info and all the details we put in there. And then we hear, uh, look here on the right, we have collections. Those are those groups of projects. So we can say, you know what, this actually, it's not on uh, the My Portfolio. It's gonna be in this new collection that I've created. So 
you know, that can be another video of how to create collections, but you can add your project to a collection. And then scroll down here, there are just so many different uh, areas that you can edit and, you know, kind of manage on your, your projects as you're adding them. And then you just save and close the project and that will add the project in. So now you see that we had all these original projects, but I also have this food photos project here. And so if I go back to the editor and back to preview the site, uh, we should be able to go to a portfolio real quick. I'm going to refresh the page and I'll leave the page. That's fine. I'm just going to refresh the editor. So I might have to click back into preview. I just want to make sure, you know, you do need to like refresh your site when you add new things to it if you want to be able to preview it correctly. But we're going to go back to preview again and go to portfolio. And it's possible that we have it in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we clicked on new collection. Remember, we added it to that. And then we see here, I have my food photos. And so if I click on that, we'll see all of the little minor details that I put in, uh, project type, all this stuff. The, this is all my food photos description here on the right. And then all of the different photos just kind of placed in here. And so to actually edit how projects look, that would be in the editor itself. But to add a project, you would do that in uh, the Manage Projects section, which you can get to from here in the editor, which is sort of back in the dashboard itself. Uh, but you can also click that from the editor to manage your projects here as well. And so that's how you can add a project here on Wix.